Hello everyone and welcome back to St. Andrew TV and as always I am your host Andrew. Today we are going over a controversial topic as in should you use tobacco products or should you not? I am not here to tell you either. I am here to show you how our Victorian era ancestors would have had to smoke a cigarette. Now given that during this time the cigarette rolling machine was invented and wealthy individuals could buy pre-rolled cigarettes to save themselves some time and hassle. However, that wasn't the case for everyone. Some people had to deal with the rolling paper and the tobacco and pretty much build it from scratch and that's what I'm going to teach you today. I would advise if you are under the age of 21, which is the age that you can purchase tobacco, that I would not personally do it, but I cannot tell you what to do. Like I said before, I am not your dad. And anybody watching this video is free to not smoke or smoke. So everything from the tobacco to the rolling papers is here in front of me. So let's roll ourselves a cigarette. No one on the corner has a wagon like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh the only two things that we'll need right in front of us. On the left are a pack of rolling papers and then on the right we have our tobacco. So first thing is first you lay a rolling paper flat on the table with the adhesive which by the way was invented in 1900 and then patented in 1942. So not incredibly historically accurate but it's going to make life easier for us today. But anyway you want that adhesive gum strip at the top and facing upward. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of your tobacco and you are gonna place it right in the middle of your rolling paper. And don't worry if it looks like a mess right now, it will all be fixed soon enough. And normally this would be the point I'd tell you to put in a filter, but filters were not around until the 1920s. So if you wanna be a historically accurate Victorian era member of society, we're not putting a filter in that. So anyway, once you get your tobacco into your rolling paper, you just pick up your rolling paper, clean off the mess that you've made already, and what you're going to do is even it out a little bit, and you are gonna take your rolling paper and pinch it at both sides like so. Not pinch it where there's a crease, but enough where you can start rolling your thumbs and this will start evening out your tobacco. And you can even move a little closer to get that middle part. As you can see, the tobacco is starting to even itself out and distribute across the paper evenly. And when you open it up, you should see that the tobacco relatively distributed itself evenly throughout the paper. And if you're not satisfied with some parts, you can add tobacco. Like right there, he's having, he's balled up a little bit, so we're gonna give him a little love. And there he goes. Everything looks ship shape. So the next part is the trickiest for me, is your adhesive strip should be on this back piece and your thumb should be touching it right there when you press down on it. And this is the part that I've always found the most difficult. You're gonna take this lower piece of rolling paper and you are going to press it down. And this is what is important. You wanna keep that there. You're gonna bring it up and you're going to lick the adhesive. And you're gonna roll it over like so. It may not be perfect, but then again, you are just smoking your finished result. Sorry, I had to bring it up to kind of get that pinch, but you should roll over the bottom part of your rolling paper and kind of tuck it and then roll it back over. And then once your adhesive sticks 
which mine didn't initially, so I had to take it off camera and give it a good lick. Anyway, you can roll it over, it should stick, and it should look something like this, which I don't think looks too bad for one of my first few times rolling cigarettes, and hopefully, you got a good grasp of how to do it today and how our Victorian era ancestors would have done it as well. And then obviously after you get it closed and everything, it'll round out or you can round it out yourself. Let's light this thing up and give you an outro. I'd say this one didn't turn out too bad. Anyway, that is today's video. That is how to roll your own cigarette. The components to do this are quite cheap. I bought three packs and each pack contains 100 rolling papers for $7. Theoretically, if you got really good at this, you could get 300 cigarettes for $7 on the rolling paper. And I bought a five pound bag of tobacco from a place down in Tennessee for $100. So even that out, $107. 300 cigarettes. I would say that's a pretty good deal if you wanted to smoke 300 cigarettes. Anyway, like I said, it was a different video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you'd like me to go over any other of the recreational things that our Victorian era or Wild West ancestors would have done during that time. Please leave a comment if you've enjoyed the video. Just say hello or tell me what I should do next. There's a big red button at the bottom of the screen that also reads subscribe. If you've already done that, hit that little bell next to it because it will notify you when I upload a video. But if you have not hit that subscribe button, I suggest thinking about it because you're a daisy if you do.